Hey guys, in this one we're going to discuss variable scope and then also we'll discuss methods. So without further ado, let's get into it. syntax so be aware of the syntax and then we have our main method so two methods um, in this little programming program here and then now we have an integer in our first let's go over the static the void start method first so we have integer x, integer y, and integer c. And then we've assigned values to each of these in each of these variables. <coughs> so 12, 6, and 4 respectively. And then that's it for our start method. For our main method, we have three different variables as well. So, um, integer a, integer b, and integer c. And I've commented out integer x, y, and z because I'm going to tell you why in a second. And we have system.outline. We want to print a times x. System.outline, we want to print b times y. And then system.outline, we want to print c times z. So let's run this code and see what happens. As you can see, let's look at the error here. Yeah, and usually when it comes to errors, you're going to want to look at the first error. And then the first error is the most important one, because that's the first one the compiler looks at as it's going across your code. So if you can compile due to the first error, you're going to want to fix that one before you look at the other errors because that's the most important one. So you can see it says cannot find symbol um, system dot out on the line system dot out dot print line a times x. It cannot find the symbol. And that means it cannot find <coughs> where x is in your program. But we have an x here, so why won't it compile when we have an x here and that's because of variable scope so the program it can't see this x that's here in the void start it cannot see this x because it's in a different method than the main method then it's in a different method than the method you want it to be in so you have to have, if you want a variable to be seen by your program, it must be contained within the same piece of code that um, your other values that you want to com um, compute are in. So let's fix it. So with the comment, I now have all integers within the main method. So now let me try to print. Let me try to run. So you see, now it runs. You get your a times x, your b times y, and your c times z in the terminal here. 
the console. So yeah, and that's how you, that's variable scope. So your, your variables need to be within the same scope in order to work together, basically. They can't be in different pieces of code unless you basically have a window into this code that you put in here, which I'll get into in different videos. So yeah, and then also I'll show you if you write integer A here, let's just say integer A equals 18, integer B equals, let's just say 19, integer C equals 20. So let's just say you make more integers in the public that static void start. They still will not be seen by the main method. So let's comment out. A, B, C. And let's try to run. And then you see you get the same error message, cannot find symbol. So now, now it can't find where A is within your program. Even though you have A down here, there's no A up here. So it can't find where A is in the main method. And it can't run your code. So you must have all the integers in the same scope in the same method. And then, yeah, that will do it for this video. Um, like, share, and subscribe if you like the content. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.